Hello everybody. I just wanted to give you a little video showing you what I do to prepare my farm for bedtime. Um, I like to load all my machines and I have a strategy or, or a routine that I like to go through all the time. First of all, as you can see, I'm at the, pasta, at the salad bar and I'm going to tap on each one to see how much I need or if I need any of them. I have 12 of those in my barn already so we're not going to make any more. I have 10. I like to have 12 so we're going to make set it up for to make two overnight and we have 16 seafood which I think I'll probably be selling off four of those and we have 11 pasta salad and I'm going to make one more of those. Okay so that's it for the uh, salad bar and we'll go to ahead and go to the ice cream. 13 I don't need those. 12, we're fine. 11, okay, let's make a chocolate ice cream. And we have more than enough uh, popsicles. Popcorn, I don't keep too much on popcorn. You can always find the regular popcorn in the newspaper, as well as the chili popcorn. That There's a lot of that usually for sale in the, chil in the newspaper. Uh, buttered popcorn, I have 15, so there's no need to load the uh, popcorn machine with that and I have enough honey popcorn and chocolate popcorn so we're going to skip that for tonight we're not going to load it and over here on the soup machine we've got 12 13 14 10 okay we're going to need some fish soup because we want to keep it up at 12 okay move along to the grill and I'm probably going to be short in a lot of these because I haven't been really good today about keeping my stock up we got 10 but no eggs. Uh, no eggs to make any more pancakes. Uh, we could go ahead and make hamburger. We got everything we need for that, but we got 14 in stock. 14 on the fish burgers, and we can always use roasted tomatoes. So let's go ahead and put in four of those. Okay, moving on down. Let's check out here on the uh, little old coffee house and see what we need for that. We got 10, but I have no milk. We have 11 on the espresso, and we're going to drop that in there, I think. We're going to drop it in. Uh, we have 10 on the uh, cafe, uh, cafe mocha, so let's drop in two of those. I'm having trouble getting them to go in there tonight. Oh, raspberry mocha. We are really short on that, so we're going to finish filling up the machine with raspberry mocha. Uh, there it's dropping in now and just take a look here at the uh, uh, hot chocolate it's only six so when I come back around to fill up that machine again I'll be filling it up with the hot chocolate these are just an example of the things that I do to get ready to you know put my farm to sleep overnight uh, if you notice and recall I didn't have any eggs to do the one a couple of the items there at the grill so we're gonna run in here and see if we can collect some eggs from the little chickies and then we'll go back over and see what we can put on the grill and I'm having a little trouble getting making my fingers work tonight to load everything I had a tough day today with the great grandkids and um, oh, little stinkers wanted to go swimming of all things at their grandma's house the other grandma and it kept me kind of busy watching them and I'm not getting all my chickens to feed here so we're going to enlarge the screen a little bit I want to make sure everyone is fed and when I do that I'm missing one down here I want to make sure they're all fed. If you'll see, tapping on the uh, chicken pen or chicken coop, uh, my little arrows are not lighting up on the uh, basket or on the feed. So tap that one. So they're all fed and well taken care of. We need some milk up there too, if you recall. So we're going to collect some milk here. I just shoot straight down the line here instead of going, you know one pen at a time and just roam it all around and do the same thing when I come to feed them 
and go back and check make sure they're all fed whoops there's something here we didn't collect one and now it's collected and we're going to run that through there and I didn't see that we need any pig uh, any bacon so we're going to hold off on that for a little bit uh, we're going to see what we have here I'm going to skip it I usually open a lot of those toolboxes and they're really eating up my diamonds okay we have a couple of cream to collect there so let's just see what we need to put in here for overnight uh, 30 cream that's enough 20 butter let's put in a couple of butter it runs out pretty fast I don't need any cheese nor do I need any goat cheese at this point we may come back to it later and put some in to the dairy there um, let's go back over we collected the eggs let's see what we can make over here we needed pancakes pancakes sell really good in the newspaper and it's not, I have a tough time keeping them in stock okay we, do we need any potatoes no 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 there and no there so we're sitting really good on our grill um, we loaded the coffee machine there so let's check on the cakes we're okay see the oh we only have 10 there so we're gonna put in a couple and that one's in good shape 13 on the cheesecake 11 on the strawberry cake so let's slide one in there uh, oh I 20 on the potato feta cakes so we're gonna be selling some of those oh we're gonna sell some of those and we're okay on the uh, honey apple and we're gonna sell a couple of lemons too because we're over on that uh, I didn't tell you when I started out on this but the, my barn was full and if you go back here and check real quickly we will see I'll check my barn from here <laughs> we will see that I've already got gained 65 spaces just by filling up those machines so if your says your barn is full and your machines are not filled go fill up the machines and that gives you back space in the barn uh, it's not exactly a one-for-one one trade either because uh, let's show you here if we uh, made bacon toast we'd be taking two bread out of the barn and two slices of bacon and one mayo so you'd be reducing uh, or taking five spaces out of your barn and when you go to put this sandwich in you're only taking up one so you're gaining four spaces when you're going um, or however many items it takes to make them so you're gaining spaces there uh, that's pretty much what I do when I'm getting ready my setting my farm all up for bed I make sure everything is filled up I make sure that I have uh, I usually try to uh, collect from all of my animals and I also make sure that my feed machines are all loaded uh, we need 14 on cow nope so we're going to be needing I try to keep at least two feedings so I'm going to fill this up till it's about 30 so it's going to take um, we're going to go ahead and do put six in there how much we got on chicken 22 oh we need lots of chicken feed that goes pretty fast okay move on up to this machine we're going to finish here with some more chicken feed uh, we don't need pig feed there we got two feedings there and we need two feedings on the uh, sheep so we're going to add one in and we have an oh we're short one on this for two feedings on the goat but that they take so long eight hours so you got plenty of time to make more feed for them and let's finish filling this up with chicken and cow because those are the ones that you'll be using the most okay that's pretty much what I do now whenever I'm setting up my farm to put it to bed for the night and now when I get up in the morning I will have all these machines filled with something and so I'll just collect them and put them in the barn and you saw what I was over on what I consider my quota and I'll be selling some of them off so that's it good night everybody and have a great evening thank you for coming